Hi, my name is Vineet, and I'm going to show you how the Tools Palette works in LabVIEW. If you've used LabVIEW before, you've noticed that the mouse will often change its shape and functionality depending on what the mouse is hovering over. And in fact, if we look at this LabVIEW program that I've got here, I've got a basic thermometer display. And as I hover over the middle of the thermometer, I end up with this pointing finger, which is the operate tool. And that allows me to change the value. But if I move over to the left a little bit, it actually changes to the position size select tool. So I can resize the thermometer. I could even go up to the thermometer and double click on the label and actually get the text edit tool. Well, all of these things are actually automatically done using the auto tool function. And if I wanted to see exactly what's happening, I could go to the view menu and I could go to the tools palette. And here's the actual tools palette that behind the scenes is switching between all these different types of functions. Again, if I go to the middle here, you can see the operate tool here. I can resize it and it automatically switches to the resize tool or the position size select tool. And then if I go up to the top and I double click again, I've got the text edit tool. I can also disable auto tool by clicking on this green LED here. And now if you notice, I'm not able to change the value of the thermometer until I go and click on the operate tool. And now I'm not able to resize until I click on the resize tool. All, this thing, all of these things allow me to get a little bit finer access and control to how the mouse behaves. And I can even use this shortcut tab button here to tab between each of these different values. Similarly, on the block diagram, I also have some capabilities. I've got a wiring tool here, and now I'm always wired. So if I want to wire between different objects, I can do that. If I turn the auto tool back on, you can see by default, I'm not in the wiring tool until I get close to something that has wiring capabilities. In general, the auto tool works pretty well, but there's some things that you can do using the tools palette that you don't get through auto tool, like adding probes, for example. I can click on the probe button, and now I can probe different wires here. And when I hit run, I can see ex the exact value of data going through those wires, and I can do all of that using that probe tool. The last bit of functionality that I get is being able to customize the color of different things using the eyedropper and paintbrush tool. If I click on the eyedrop tool, I can actually sample different colors. And let's say I wanted to sample the, the blue of this slider here, for example. Well, I can click on that. And now, if I click on the paintbrush tool, I can color different parts of my program and have the exact same color. I could also right click on different things while I have the paint tool enabled. And I can scroll over this color palette here and choose the exact palette that I need. Or I can even customize certain colors as well. Lastly, I could right click on the block diagram on my front panel and also change the background color. I can make things transparent as well and really just customize the exact user interface to the look and feel that I need. So that's a brief introduction to how the tools palette works in LabVIEW.